Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to create the seamless pattern in Procreate. I made here a new wallpaper for my iPad. But of course, if you want, you can just use this method to create a wallpaper for another device. And before we start, I just wanted to let you know that I'm on Patreon. I have their many step-by-step -step Procreate tutorials, so if you enjoyed enjoy this video and would like to drama with me, make sure to check it out, the link is in the description. And with all that being said, let's start. Let's make a new canvas. Square canvas here. And this firstly, we can color with the color that we want to have on the background. So I'm going to take this one and I'll just drag and drop it in there. Now I'm going to make a new layer. And here I'm going to draw the first diamond. Let's change the color. Take this one. And here I'm going to use the monoline brush from Calligraphy. And my brush size will be 7. And to make it easier, let's turn on the symmetry tool. So let's go to the actions menu, canvas, turn on drawing guide, and then edit drawing guide. Here at the bottom let's pick symmetry, and in the options make sure you have vertical selected. Let's tap on done. Let's draw a simple diamond shape. I'm holding my pencil and screen, so this is a straight line. Now let's draw a line here. You can put your finger on the screen to make this horizontal. And now let's draw a line at an angle, up here. And another straight line here. Now let's draw the line going this way. And you want to have this distance the same as this one, more or less. And now, one more line here. You can use the edit shape if you want to, and just adjust the points. Tap on the screen with your finger to finish. And now let's draw a line here. And the diamond shape is ready. Now I'm going to color inside of this. So I will start with this color here. And I will color these triangles. Now I'm going to change the color for the blue one. And I will color here this and this. And these ones, let's color them in purple. So I have my basic shape for the pattern ready. I'm not going to use the symmetry tool anymore, I can turn it off. So let's just turn off the drawing guide here. And now we have to create here the pattern. Let's duplicate this layer. So swipe it to the left and pick duplicate. Let's hide this original layer. We don't need this now, but we'll need it later. So let's duplicate that new layer a few times. This should be enough. Now we are going to take the arrow tool and with the uniform option selected here, we are going to make it smaller or bigger and rotate it and move it around this canvas. Let's create a pattern here. So take the next one now and also rotate it. Keep going like this until you're happy with your pattern. Now the last one. And of course now you can still rearrange those. So 
So I'm going to maybe move around a few of them. Now I'm going to select all of them and just move them all to the middle of the canvas. And for now I'm happy with this. So I'm going to merge all those layers together, just pinch them like that. I want them to be a little bit more pastel, so I'm just going to turn on the opacity of this layer. I'll make it 77%. Now I'm going to add one more layer here with some stars. Let's change the color, let's take this one. And here I'm going to use my stars brushes from my stamp brush set. If you're interested in those brushes, they're linked in the description of this video. I'll take this one, Stereo Sky Less Stars. And with the brush size 47, I'm just going to add them here like this. Now when you want to create a seamless pattern, you don't want to have any of the design on the edge of your canvas. So I have to erase here a few places. I'll take the eraser, it is set to monoline brush, and I'm just going to go around the edges and make sure I don't have anything here touching the edge of the canvas. Okay, I think we're good to go. I want to change the blending mode of this layer. I'm going to set this to overlay. And now to create the seamless pattern, we still have to duplicate this layer with the color in the background. Let's move this here, like this. So now we have all our elements right next to each other. We can swipe on them to the right and pick group. Let's close the group like this. And I'm going to duplicate this, so I can still keep my original layers in there. I will hide this group. And now I'm going to flatten this group here. So now this is all just one layer. And I will duplicate it three times, so I'll have four layers like this. Now we have to move this around to create the seamless pattern. So let's take now the arrow tool. Here at the bottom, make sure you have uniform selected and also snapping turned on. So with these options, we are going to move this up here and make sure that this bottom corner will be right in the middle of the canvas. It will snap in there. Now let's take another layer and let's move this one here, opposite direction to the move that we did a moment ago. Make sure it will snap in there. And now let's take next layer and move it here. And the last one. Let's move it over here. So now we have here this empty space, we have to still fill in. So for this I have here my saved first design. I'm going to duplicate this layer. And I will move it on top of everything. Let's bring it back. And first I'm going to turn on the opacity of this layer so it will match the other ones. So it was 77. And now let's just move it around so it will fit our design. And now we can still make one more layer here to add some more stars in the middle of the canvas. And I'll just tap here one time. And I can use the arrow tool to move those stars that I just added. Now I'm going to change this to overlay. And I will duplicate it. And move this again. I want some more stars, but I want to make sure I'm not going to go outside. So this way doing this is easier and I can control it better. And the seamless pattern is ready. Let's save this. So let's go to share and save it as JPEG. 
And now we can just make a new canvas with the size of our iPad. So tap here to make a new canvas. And for the iPad Pro, it will be 2048 by 2732. Now let's go to the color profile. Let's pick RGB and take this one. Let's create this. And now we have to import here our design, our pattern. So let's go to the actions menu, go to add and pick insert the photo and pick your picture. Now we just have to move this and rearrange this to create our wallpaper. I'm going to make this smaller a little bit. Okay. And I will duplicate it now here and move this over here. So it will snap nicely and create the design. Let's duplicate the original picture again. And move it down. And again. And two more times. And the wallpaper is ready. Now we can just put it on our iPad. If you like this, I will add this in the description of this video and you can download it for free. If this inspired you to draw your own wallpaper and you would like to share it with me, please tag me on Instagram, I would love to see it. And if you enjoyed this video and would like to draw more of me, make sure to check out my Patreon. And now I have a special shout out to my Beacon supporters on Patreon. Thank you so much for being there with me. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye!